continuing on the theme of growing from where you've been planted that is everything and getting more of what you want so I'm gonna talk about a story and parallel this to whatever you want in your own life that you got going on but this story is so valuable as every every real-life true authentic story is so valuable because we're of the same species and if you're in the United States you're even in the same economy and the same political winds and all that stuff too so you should be able to connect up with this quite a bit my sponsor, meaning the one that brought me into the whole home-based business arena and being a business owner and all that stuff, this person, she recently became a millionaire. And this person did not have it easy. Life didn't suddenly become easy. Her circumstances didn't change just so that she could have a better shot at being successful. This is where she was planted, okay? I, when I first met her, she was selling her personal belongings on eBay. She was, uh, she took on a roommate and uh, this was just to be able to, just to get by. This wasn't to have extra spending money. This was just to make ends meet and to live. And, um, and her mom would send her cash regularly in little envelopes to also help out. And that, that's where she was planted. And one day she decided to start changing the way that she thought, her mindset, what she believed in which changed her attitude, which changed her actions, and actions shape your life. And so she began that process, and, you know, a few years later, she went from that terrible place of a lifestyle of just being in debt and fighting to just survive and try to make, make ends meet. She went from that to, you know, she's a millionaire now. No more debt, no more lifestyle of debt. She uh, doesn't have to worry about money anymore. She doesn't have to worry about a lot of things that money stems from because money is a resource to getting things that you need and things that you want. I mean, not every money can't buy everything, so don't even go there with this. That's a totally different discussion, and yes, I agree with your altruistic self. But money is a resource to get many things that we cannot get um, otherwise, the things that we need and things that we want. So now, uh, you know, she's her nerd card is... Um, comic book conventions and superheroes and things like that so now that she's making ends meet she's able to do some of this other stuff that she's always wanted to do so now she's going all over the country to Comic Con Dragon Con and all these other whatever they do and she gets these elaborate costumes she dresses up and she goes there with friends and meets people and she just has a really awesome time and she's you know she's got the money and the resources the means to be able to do all that stuff and she's just she's having a ball she is totally loving her life of a brand new Ford Mustang. Her dad worked for Ford. There's a lot of sentimental value there and you know made made Papa proud buying a brand new Ford Mustang. All purple. It's a beautiful car. And here's here's the thing guys it is so important that you get this this whole moral here. She didn't wait for circumstances to change. It's not as if stuff around her and outside of her mind changed so that she could suddenly start working towards being successful she changed first and then it was her circumstances that started changing and the universe conspiring to bring her what she wanted and and multiplication tables and there's a lot more coming believe me she's still engaged on her own personal growth and development and so she's you know she's ensuring her future success as well along with some bumps along the way that's just part of the process it's not a a linear progression there's always you know two steps forward one step backward you've heard that sort of thing but it's so true and I know that most of you out there I know and I, I want you to own this if this is you statistically speaking it is you because most of you this is you you're waiting for something outside of your mind to change circumstances you're waiting for life to be just a little bit easier whatever that means for you until you're willing to start doing something taking some kind of consistent action to get what you need what you want what you desire to live and become all that you desire to be who knows but you've got it ass backwards you really do people who wait for that are the ones that are still broke still unhealthy still in sucky relationships and still a spiritual mess and who knows what else you cannot wait procrastination is the cornerstone of all poverty all of them, not just financial, but spiritual ones, relationship ones, uh, health, wealth, all of them, all poverty from too much inaction, procrastination. So don't do that. Flip that around the way nature intended it to be. And um, once things in here change, 
then other things outside of you begin changing. That's the order it's supposed to be. But many of us, we fight this, including me for you know years ago, including uh, my sponsor. She fought it. She ended up in that place where she was broke, dependent on her roommate, and selling personal belongings to get by. But then she changed things in here. She turned things on, and she started to grow from where she was planted instead of waiting for something else before she was willing to grow. And that's the order that it has to be. I so hope that you guys and girls get that because most of you don't. And I see it year after year. Most of you are still in debt and you get further in debt. It's just, it's terrible and it doesn't have to be that way. It's an inside problem. And if you own it, then it's also the solution is found inside too. That's a beautiful thing. So uh, I don't know if you have a plan or if you even began looking. Maybe from where you've been planted is a place of absolute broke so you don't have that resource, no money, then maybe you just have to sell your television cable subscription to be able to get started in something, I don't know. And I know a lot of you are saying, I, I can't do that, I get home from work and I'm just so beat that that's my me time and I gotta watch my favorite shows and, and this and that, and that's fine, you can do that, but you can't do that and expect to change your situation at the same time. So you gotta, you gotta weigh what's more important to you is your is your TV cable subscription more important than, say, your, uh, your, uh, your kid's college fund or your kid's inheritance or getting ahead or being able to make better investments into the health of your family? Which is more important, the health of your family or your TV subscription? Of course you're going to say the health of your family. But you know what? Your commitments are only as strong as your actions. So if you don't back it up with some action, your commitment is just a joke. And that particular one that I use for an example is a particularly cruel joke to sacrifice the investment that you can make into your family because you can't get rid of the damn TV. <laughs> and maybe it's not the TV. Maybe there's something else that your money is going towards that has nothing to do with your priorities, so your priorities suffer. If your priorities are suffering, mark my words, it's because you've got some sort of a daily habit that is not in alignment with your priorities. So things are out of whack, chaos, and your priorities are suffering. So do you want your priorities to no longer suffer? Or what? Get rid of the TV. Just chuck it. Cancel the TV subscription. That one thing alone for most people will be enough. And um, you know you got to examine where, where your money is going. Maybe for you it's not the the TV because you don't you already don't own one. I don't know. But let's say your where you've been planted is even worse than that. I mean, by the way, if all you have to do is sell the TV to get ahead, then you're pretty blessed. And uh, I hope you don't take that for granted. If you still got the TV, then you've taken it for granted, and that's. <coughs> So let's say you've got absolutely nothing, no fat you can trim from your budget and you have no money and you've got you know all these problems, that's still a place where you've been planted and you can grow from where you've been planted if you believe it. Uh, humans are capable of the most amazing things no matter what. The only time you actually cut yourself off from having more and growing from where you've been planted is when you don't believe it's possible and you don't take the actions, the, even the first steps. So let's say that horrible first step uh, you've got no fat, you can trim for your budget, you're broke, you have no income, who knows what's going on, then the starting place, in my opinion, would be um, discovery mode. you got to search stuff out. I mean, there's free resources available. There's people like me who will help you take those first steps for free. Um, as so long as you follow direction and you're teachable, you know, somebody like me is going to be sensitive to your situation because when I got started, my my planting place was a step away from being homeless so it could have been worse I could have been totally destitute but it wasn't quite that bad but but still I I understand what it's like to be planted at a, at a place that is so difficult to grow from but you can and uh, you need to find the right mentors and be deliberate about who you learn from find somebody who has what you want and do what they do maybe somebody if you want to go the extra mile find somebody who has what you want that started from a place similar to your starting place and do what they do and be teachable and don't offer them your suggestions and opinions. That would be the worst thing you could do because then they probably won't work with you. <laughs> I'm just saying, take that warning. Um, but uh, that, that's, that's the whole thing of this video. And I hope that story about my, my personal sponsor helps you, even my own story and whatever else I've shared. And if you want to know about the vehicle that I used to go from um, one step away from being homeless to being financially free and independent just two and a half years later, which is the same vehicle that my sponsor used to go from where she was planted a few years ago to being 
um, financially free and independent and I guess one of the newly crowned newly crowned millionaires uh, it's, it's the same vehicle let me know shoot me a private message or something and we'll ask each other some questions and see if this is a thing for you or not and if it isn't if it isn't for you just promise yourself you won't give up until you find the thing that's right for you the vehicle to bring you out of where you're at that you're not very happy with so that you can finally grow from where you've been planted you can't stop i mean you could but that's stupid because that time is going to pass by anyway it's not going to pause while you take a break i don't know time is going to pass by anyway so if you want time to promote you rather than expose you you got to make good daily decisions and you got to change some habits maybe swap out some bad ones with some good ones if you got bad habits time is going to expose you for your bad habits and if you got good habits time is going to promote you you'll grow You'll prosper with what you've got. You gotta be, you gotta, uh, you gotta be faithful with what you've already been given, even if it's just a good solid heartbeat. You gotta be faithful with that. If you're not, if you're not growing from where you've been planted, then you haven't been faithful. It's because you haven't been faithful with what you've already been given. Whether it's time, maybe just a little bit of money or a weekly paycheck or a good strong healthy heartbeat and a perfectly working brain, um, the validation proof positive that you haven't been faithful is if you are still stuck and you're not growing that's that's the validation that you haven't been faithful so be faithful with what you got and you will eminently grow from where you've been planted learn to prosper with what you've already got now however little however much that is and you will become ruler of much later take care Take that lesson to heart, guys. It is so important. That's how you get ahead. I didn't make this up. These are natural laws of the universe, which you and I are simply guests on. They're there. They exist by the great designer, the God of your choosing, whomever. They exist to help us if we just harness it and take it and stop waiting for life to suddenly become easy before we're willing to start working on that and our problems. Flip that around. Change this first. Then everything else changes testimonies worldwide prove that every single day and on the flip side of that the, per the procrastination side testimonials validate what you have to do to stay broke and unhealthy and in a place you're not very happy at as well so pick which side of that fence you want to be on align your belief and your actions your habits with it and the universe is the most non prejudiced thing out there you're gonna you're gonna get what you sow in multiplication tables so use that now you know what to do get started don't wait get started now procrastination cornerstone to all poverty so don't do that don't do that again